Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a q and A. I I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I asked you guys on Instagram to leave your questions there. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram handle right here on the screen for you guys. So a lot of these questions were repeat questions that I've answered in Q and A's before. So I would check back on those if i don't answer it today it's probably because i've already answered it a bunch of times so let's get into them are you still squatting and deadlifting how do you know if you are going heavy enough i mostly do deadlifts i just despise squats i know that i should do them a little bit more but i i thoroughly enjoy deadlifts over squats any day to know if you're going heavy enough is that it feels challenging, but you're keeping proper form because you do not want to get injured or pull something that would be terrible. So make sure that you are keeping proper form, but that the weight feels challenging. I would say if you could do like six reps and be like maxed out, but still keep proper form, then that's probably a pretty heavy weight for you. How did you start a YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel a long time ago and I thought I was gonna do like makeup and stuff if you look back. Ooh, that is a throwback for sure, but you really just have to start. It doesn't matter if you have a fancy backdrop. It doesn't matter if you have fancy makeup or you know whatever you're using. It doesn't matter if you have fancy equipment. You don't need that. If you just wanna use your phone or some camera you find in your house like that you haven't used in forever, just pick it up and do it. And the hardest part is just literally starting to film and putting yourself out there. How do you earn money other than YouTube? So I do have a video on my various jobs. Besides YouTube, I teach ESL classes through VIP Kid. I've mentioned this before. I talk about it in that video. So I teach English to children in China on my computer very early morning. I also do online coaching and meal plans for clients who want to tone up or lose weight. I also run a cookie business from my home and I do social media as well. How do you beat the winter blues if that is even a thing in Arizona? Love your channel. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that very, very much. We don't really get winter blues here in Arizona. It is not your standard winter here, so I don't really know how to answer that question. But I think if I were to beat the winter blues somewhere really cold, I would just make my home or where I'm living very cozy and like have a fun routine of making my favorite latte from home or baking something or cooking a meal and watching like a movie that just makes you feel cozy with blankets and like candles. I think that sounds really fun, honestly. But again, I don't live somewhere cold, so I can't really answer that. If you had to pick only one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably pizza. Because there's so many ways you could do pizza. You could do a salad on a pizza. You could do thin crust pizza. You could do deep dish pizza. You could do regular crust pizza. You could do stuffed crust pizza. And you could choose all the toppings ever. So I think pizza. What's your favorite thing about being a mom? Just knowing that I am someone's world. Like to know Jackson looks at me and just like loves me even if I'm not perfect, even if I'm not doing that great of a job of being a mom some days, or if I'm sad or frustrated, like he still looks at me and loves me because I'm his mom and that is like the greatest feeling ever. Advice for moms when dad isn't home as much because of work. My husband works night shifts. My advice to you is to definitely find those moments in the day for yourself, whether it's waking up early to make yourself a nice cup of coffee and journal or read a book or just like relax or whether that means staying up a little bit later after your kids go to sleep to unwind or do something that you enjoy like a hobby that you haven't done in a while or do it when your children are napping or include them in the things that you enjoy i think it's just important to have those moments where you feel like yourself again i think that's so important because you will get burnt out and in order to be a good mom or a good partner 
or a good family member, a good friend or whatever, you have to have those moments. So that is my advice and I know it's hard. I know it's easier said than done for sure. <clears throat> advice for a long distance relationship. I have a video all about this. I will link it down below. I know that it can be difficult. Matt and I did the whole on and off long distance thing for up until last year, so like six years and it was difficult but it made us very strong as a couple if you look at it that way it'll hopefully help you feel better but i would definitely check out the video i will link it down below for you has jackson officially started acting like a toddler he seems so sweet in all your vlogs he is definitely into everything he's all over the place he's walking he's like blah blah blahing he has tantrums i think he's definitely heading into toddler territory and it can be tiring sometimes but it's also really fun because he's doing more than he used to like one day he won't be able to do something and the next day he like figures it out and it's so cool to see like that light bulb go off what was it like to be a preschool teacher and would you recommend it I would recommend it if you have patience and if you like kids, but I would also recommend finding a school that really fits your teaching style and your interests because when I was teaching, I was at a very, very low income school. The challenges that I dealt with were more than other schools. Home visits, seeing if the kids were safe in their homes, calling CPS, dealing with lice, bed bugs, terrible behavioral issues. It was mentally and emotionally exhausting and it was so different than what I imagined it would be. Like the school I taught at, we couldn't celebrate any holidays, no birthdays, you couldn't decorate the classroom in a lot of color or anything like that. And it just took away from everything that I remembered as a kid and everything that I had thought of as being a teacher like it was just challenging and it was just kind of discouraging and sad and the pay in Arizona and I think the pay in a lot of places for being a teacher is not very good so you really have to love your job I'm trying to move to Arizona to the Phoenix area do you recommend moving to Arizona I personally love Arizona I have lived here my entire life I love the scenery, I love the weather, the summers are hot, but you will get used to them and you literally just stay inside. The restaurants are good, there's a lot of fun things to do here. You can get anywhere really quickly, like Phoenix is just like this awesome grid system. You can get anywhere so quickly. I don't see myself leaving, so I do suggest if you want to move here, check it out. I think you would like it. When is the last time you had McDonald's? <laughs> That's such a random question. It's probably been like two years. It's been a really long time since I've had McDonald's, but I have like, I have junk food. It's just McDonald's isn't number one on the list. I do love their fries. I'm like a in and out girl or a Taco Bell girl. What is Matt going to do for a living now that he is retired from the band? So Matt works for USPS the Postal Service. He is working his butt off. He is an extremely hard worker. He, he will go in early, he will stay late, he will go in on his days off if they need him. He does whatever he needs to do to be recognized as a hard worker and I admire that about him so much. And this question kind of ties into that. It's how are you adjusting to his normal work hours and I love it you guys. From having such an on and off long distance relationship for so long and especially in the first year of Jackson's life it was hard it was really hard and now he gets to come home every night I know that we're gonna have dinner together I know that he's gonna have his mornings with Jackson I know that sometimes he'll be home early enough to put Jackson to bed it's just really nice in your older vlogs you had a piano in your first house what happened to it and did you ever play we did have a piano. I used to play when I was younger. My mom gave us a piano because she didn't have room for it anymore, but I haven't played in so many years. So we ended up just selling it because we didn't really have a place for it in our house. But we still have a guitar, drums. I think I still have my flute. So we still have instruments in the house. Jax can still have options to play if he wants to get into music. On Riverdale, are you as upset about Ronnie and Archie breaking up as I am? So. I actually 
wanted them to break up i didn't think it was like the healthiest relationship and i actually really like her with reggie so i know that's probably a really unpopular opinion and it's really weird but deep down i kind of wish archie and betty would get together in the end just because in the comics i was always rooting for betty but it is a little bit different because bughead is so cute on the show so you know i don't know i feel like all the relationships are kind of toxic are jackson's eyes still two different colors yes they are still different he has one brown eye that always stays brown and then he has one eye that changes from like hazel to gray to like a grayish blue it just depends on the day where are your pet steps from i believe they're from bed bath and beyond they were a gift so i don't know for sure but i'm pretty sure they're from bed bath and beyond maybe amazon i don't know for sure what are your thoughts on the keto diet i don't think it is necessarily sustainable and i know people lose a lot of weight on it but i also know a lot of people who gain that weight right back when they start eating normally normally again so i don't really like it that much i think balance is key to any diet are you still with live fit I don't think I've addressed this on YouTube. I think I did it briefly on Instagram, but no, I'm not with LiveFit anymore. I res resigned, resigned from LiveFit a while ago just because I didn't feel like it really matched their vibe and I didn't think I was doing the best that I could as an ambassador for them because my priorities have really kind of changed. I, I don't do expos. My like whole life isn't fitness and I never felt like hardcore enough to be part of live fit but it was such a dream while it lasted and they were so good to me they were my live fit family they always will be my camera is about to die so i'm gonna close the q a out here but i loved answering all of your questions i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you did and i'll see you in the next one